crap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Whoa. everybody. How goes it? How goes it? Super nervous. Glad to, glad to be here. Glad to see everybody. Hopefully this is coming through. Let me know if you can hear me. I feel like something is always, always up. Uh, Goblin Tuesday. Thank you very much for all the gift subs. It is super appreciated. Do, 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 do. Awesome. So, hello and how goes it? I'm Andrew, DM of the Dirty Rollers, along with the band of miscreants and murder hobos that I'm about to introduce to you. We're the Dirty Rollers, and this is our very first stream of our very first stream campaign, The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. I'm super pumped to be here. And uh, guys, if you can hear me, go ahead. Are you there? Yes. Nobody? Yeah. Hello. 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 There we go. Yay. Yay. There we go. Well, we'll get to them in just a minute. But uh, I, think, I think Chrissy's muted. I may be. Can yeah. everybody hear you? There you are. Yeah. Yeah. Through the stream? Because I, for some reason, cannot hear you through the stream, but I hear everybody else. Not sure why. Yeah, I think. Yep. Skillum says okay, you can hear. Skillum, okay. Sweet. okay, don't thank worry you, about it then. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, the chat seems broken, though. What's going on with the. Uh... Let me test something real quick. Chat is broken? The uh, The game chat. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see huh. what you mean. Let me, let me try to fix that real fast. It is showing the wrong window? Bits of the wrong window yeah, for some reason? wrong window. I'm sorry. First, first, uh, stream jitters here. It happens. It was working fine. Here. No, it's not. Doing little test rolls. It's oh, I see what's happening. If you guys are all in Foundry, go ahead and give me a test roll. Fill up the chat. Let's make sure it can uh, scroll down and see. Roll them dice. Rolling. Abtar, yeah, welcome on in. Thank you guys. Whoa, who's got the cool dice? Which one's the cool one? The new Discord? It's the same one you twisted. It's the same Discord. I, I don't know why that window is bugging out there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Did somebody give subs? Is that what happened? Yeah, Goblin Tuesday. Goblin. Thank you very much. I am not sure why it's, it's grabbing that. It should be over here. Hydrate. <laughs> you know what? hell with it we'll just we'll, we'll get through the, the first part of this all right yeah. we'll get through here separate the tabs what you mean uh jim separate the tabs they are separate let me see Thank you. Thank you, Dan, for the overlay uh, comment. That was all. Uh, I'm just going to get to that in just a second. You know what? We'll deal with this in just a second. I want to uh, you have to have a whole separate Chrome open. Ah, I got you. It was fine before I started. Of course, as soon as I started, it broke. <laughs> so, you know what? Instead of bumbling around for a minute, I'll get going here and then I'll, uh, I'll reset things if I have to. But um, yeah. So first and foremost, I have to thank um, Lady Mustella. She's here. She'll be introducing her uh, as a player and character in just a minute. But she put together all this awesome overlay stuff. Um, this would not look this good without a shit ton of her work. So I very much appreciate her uh, doing all this. Everything looks fantastic. And I've been super excited to show this off for a while. Um, next up, all of the uh, character art you're about to see. Um, that is all compliments of general tampon mel um she did fantastic work on all these and i can't wait to show those off in just a minute here so um we'll, we'll introduce everybody in just a second um i do want to set a little bit of expectations obviously as you can see this is our first stream things are going to go wrong um first campaign stream 
uh, things are going to go wrong. So just bear with me. Um, most of us have played together for quite a while. Uh, we have two ongoing campaigns that we upload to YouTube. We have a Frost Maiden campaign and we have a, uh, a Goblin campaign that's set in Wildmount. You guys can go watch those over on our YouTube channel. Um, and this is our first foray into streaming. This will be every Wednesday night at 6.30 Eastern. Um, and uh, hopefully we can keep up the weekly pace. Uh, we may take a, a Wednesday off here and there. Um, but we want it to be weekly and keep up with it. Um, next, we have one new player. Uh, Beanie, who I will introduce here shortly along with their character, uh, is taking on a tremendous challenge of uh, jumping in with a new group of people. Uh, she played at just a little tiny bit of D&D uh, &D before. So... We'll be teaching a little bit on the fly. We've got our, a little bit of uh, background going. Um, had a couple test sessions, but as anyone that plays knows, you don't. It takes a long time to really, really get D and D and learn everything because there's about five million rules. So, um, just bear with us as we do some teaching on the fly, and uh, I think I think it'll go all right. So, um, in terms of other expectations, we are. As a group, I, I know uh, just foul mouth. Uh, there's going to be a lot of potty humor. There's going to be a lot of dick jokes. So uh, if that's not your jam, I understand it. Uh, just warning you ahead of time. Uh, we, we have a good time, but things tend to go haywire pretty fast in our groups. So sorry, that's just General a warning. Tampons here. So yeah, you know. yeah, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Look at that. Dan says he's tuning in from the UK. So thank you for the love from across the pond, man. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we do have a merch shop. It's mostly based on our, our goblin campaign and our little, uh, a little dice guy up here. Um, this is this little dice mimic. It was also made the, the dice mimic and the roller it was also made by uh, lady Mastella. Um, Skillium in chat here has helped named him Sir Reginald Malmus. Uh, <laughs> so this is Reggie. If we say, you know, you, you want to drop a uh, Reginald in the chat, you got access to the little dice mimic guy. You can go ahead and throw him in. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, we have the little merch shop. Uh, that's the uh, command merch. If you want to take a look at it, there's uh, t-shirts, mugs, all kinds of stuff in there. You can take a look at um, the YouTube channel I mentioned, I think. I think that's it for now because now I don't have to uh, advertise for the Witchlight show that's about to happen because it's finally happening. Um, so yeah, uh, I am going to go ahead and start introducing everybody. <gasps> oh man! Yeah, yeah. First up, we have James. James, would you like to tell us who exactly you are playing? Oh well. <laughs> oh god sorry <laughs> jitters uh yeah i feel you i feel you yeah, you made james go first <laughs> levy we just started Hello. levy uh i'm james and i'm playing and uh i'm playing alby alby godwin i am an owl and rogue and uh i've just got a little bit of a mismatch of uh uh, rags, like a little bit of like a weird cloak going on, and I got like a glove, like a big glove as a pauldron on one of my shoulders. And uh, oh goodness, hold on, my Twitch is acting up just a little bit. It's all right. Um, this oh, is God. this is Alby. Look at this lovable little dude, <laughs> General Tampon, with the ridiculous art for Alby. And this, yeah, this cute little guy, he said, protect that owl in at all costs, Dan. That, 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 that owl in will absolutely murder you. So look, look at this. Look at this. James, you have to I do the catchphrase. <laughs> Don't make me cut you. <laughs> but, I but I appreciate your concern. I appreciate the concern, though. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, that God. is James playing Albie. The rogue. Uh, I think you said that right. Um, yes. Next up, we have. Let me double check. We have Chrissy. Who are you playing? Hello, my name is Mozzarella. I'm playing Mozzarella. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <that's> adorable. <laughs> would you Would you like to tell us a, a little bit about Mozzarella? 
Mozzarella. <laughs> He's actually based on my real live ferret named Cheese. <laughs> and my sister, actually, Melissa General Tampon here. I should probably call her General Tampon since that's her name here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she um, gave me the idea for mozzarella when we were talking about what classes, what D&D classes our pets would be. And she thought cheese would be a deaf bard. So I am playing mozzarella, the deaf bard. Yep. Dan, this oh. is mozzarella. The, the deaf bard. So we'll see how that goes. The, we'll see how it goes, how well his music comes out. <laughs> do you want us to do like our full oh stories God. or you want us to just do a little short so thing? And then... You guys can do you can you can tell as much or as little of your backstory as you would like. James, did you have more that you want to say about Albie before I continue? Uh, well, I. I... I, th I think it would be better to kind of tell it in game because uh, it might be in tandem with a few other characters that will be introduced soon. Okay. So you're not getting okay. off the hook that easy. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Chrissy. Any backstory you want to do, go ahead. Um, okay. I'll just add a little bit more here. Um, a lot of his backstory will be kind of secret too. Um, I don't even know it because Andrew here wants it to be secret to me too. Um, basically, though, he is a Ferretan, which is a uh, homebrew class that you made up. <laughs> I don't know if you want to add anything about that right now. Do you want to mention your homebrew uh, Did I say class? I meant race. Homebrew race. Yeah, they're a, they're a sub race of something I've planned to release in the hopefully near ish future. Um, gonna gonna do a whole um, main race and then a group of sub races of uh, Mustelid folk. So if you like mustelids, um, I'll have something cool for you. I think there's going to be four sub races. Um, so along those lines too, uh, given that this is my real, my first real shot at uh, doing something with a homebrew uh, race, uh, I may tinker with hers as we go on and, and tighten it up, tweak it a little bit. So bear with me if something changes, that's probably why. Okay. Um, and I'm keeping uh, keeping some of her stuff secret, not because I'm a jerk, but because it ties into something in a different campaign, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of tie things together a little bit. So we're keeping it a little bit secret. She she has a little bit of background though, so you can tell whatever you'd like. Okay. Um, just add a little bit more. Um, I have never played a bard before. I've never played a deaf character before. So it's going to be kind of an interesting challenge <laughs> to play mozzarella. Um, <laughs> because he's deaf, he relies on sight and smell um, to get around in the world easier. He can read lips and he's very skilled at watching facial expressions and body language. He was actually taught how to read lips and speak by his caretaker a long time ago. Um, I don't think I can explain to you right now how his caretaker did this because I think it'll give away too much. Um, but uh, he has, I, I guess you'd say he has amnesia, right? He doesn't remember what happened to him when he became awakened. He's an awakened ferret. Um, so I can't tell you too much about his, his story be, for that reason. But he does play a kalimba. He doesn't play a Kalimba super well since he's <laughs> deaf. He's not really like Beethoven, but he's so cute and he's so sweet and charismatic. He's so innocent and no one really cares if he's really good at playing music. They just love him anyway. He's just adorable. It doesn't matter if he sucks at playing instruments. <laughs> uh, mozzarella travels around visiting all sorts of people and creatures with a mission to spread joy to everyone. Um, that's his main goal in life. He wants to make everyone happy. He wants to bring joy to everyone. And because of this, he's been given a title by some of his fans, the title of joy bringer. So some people actually know him as the joy bringer. Um, he's very curious being a ferret. So he loves um, exploring the world and finding its secrets. He's pretty much willing to go anywhere. And he may even swipe a few interesting items while no one is looking. Um, he cares deeply for his friends and would do anything he could to help them and anyone else actually in need. He's a friendly little guy. He's a good boy. He's a good sweet boy. 
Um, what else do I need to tell you about him? <laughs> I'm looking over my notes real quick, see if there's anything important. Dan points out we have a Deathbringer and a Joybringer, and they're side by side. <gasps> yeah! yeah. <laughs> full, full circle. Um, oh, another thing I should probably note is th- you'll, you'll learn more about this as we play in the campaign. But sometimes you may notice him seeming like he's talking to himself or someone you can't see. But you'll learn more about it later. I, I should also mention he's not super great at speaking because he's deaf. He has kind of learned how to speak thanks to his caretaker using her unique technique (laughs) to teach him how. Um, So he might pronounce words a little strangely, but he does pretty good for the most part. Awesome. And I think that's it for him. Okay. Um, Next up, we have Matthew. Would you like to introduce us to your character? Indeed I would. I play Freddy. Uh, his old name is Freddy Honeytree, but he recently discovered, or semi-recently discovered, that his name is Freddy Godwin. He's an albino owlet, uh, and he's a warlock who Aww. just met his brother Albie. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you have anything else you want to add? Any any kind of backstory or anything? Uh, he... You don't have to. He just has a super best friend that most people don't believe actually exists. <laughs> <laughs> but his super best friend's just really good at hide and seek. Uh, he likes cooking um, and will very happily make you a snack if you're hungry. Um... He's also relatively new to magic and all that kind of stuff. So he gushes about anything to do with magic and or cooking. Awesome. (laughs) All right. So that is Freddy. And I'm going to I'm going to mix all the owls up. I promise. (laughs) I I promise I will. I will mess that up. I'm going to call you all the wrong name, but that's okay. I think that just kind of happens. Um, speaking of which, uh, Garrett, who are you playing? Oh. Hello, I am playing Albert Godwin, and he's a draconic bloodline sorcerer. Um, let's see, his egg when he was before he was hatched, it was given to a gold dragon and to look after, and being affected by the gold dragon's magic while he was developing in the egg. His uh, body took on peculiar dragon aspects and horns and uh, dragon tail. And he's uh, a bit, bit odd. <laughs> he's a bit odd. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know what else to say about him. I guess you'll see. What kind of things does, uh, does Albert find fun or interesting to do? Uh, he likes collecting things. He's got a, a fanny pack underneath all that, uh, the scarves and such. As you can see, he's covered in stuff. So he collects all sorts of things he finds shiny and nice. Um, and he also has a marble collection that he absolutely loves. And he lost a few of his marbles along the way at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like he did. <laughs> all right. That's Albert. Uh, next up, Beanie. Beanie, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. <laughs> Yay, Beanie! So, Yay. Who are you playing, Beanie? Yes. Uh, I'm Beanie. I'm playing Levana, or Lev for short. Um, she is a Kalistar sorcerer, if I've said that right, hopefully. Um, yeah. and, uh, she's, uh, she doesn't really remember probably about the past decade of her life. She kind of has a big old scar on one side of her head and kind of lost most of her memories from anything before that. So she kind of gave up searching her past life and just started to decide to live a new one. Um, Pretty friendly, a bit of a, a bit of a dunce maybe. Um, (laughs) But she knows she likes magic. 
Excellent. And she likes fighting. She likes magic. Yeah. She likes fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, and what kind of things does uh, Lavana like doing, like in her off time? Um, she likes to kind of explore new areas. Um, do a little bit, a little bit of gambling here and there. Awesome. I know. I I uh, I sprung that one on you before. <laughs> I know. I was like trying to remember. I was like. I think I said something like that. <laughs> no, no, that was right. Okay. Um, go ahead, sir. Oh, you're good. Um, yeah. Uh, she kind of, what class is she again? Is that sorcerer, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Awesome. And Foundry did the awesome thing where it low res this image. This looks much sharper. I'll get it fixed for next time. My apologies on that one. Um, and we got to turn, we got to turn uh, Lavana's reactive on. So there we go. Lewis, are you ready to introduce us to your character? Oh, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Uh, I, I play a half orc barbarian, uh, viscera. It means guts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> her, her friend, her friends call her Sarah for short. And uh, it's a real pleasure to meet you all. You all look so cute and cuddly. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) Oh my god! That is awesome. I love him. Her. It's a her. It's her. It's her, right? Yeah, her. Her. Sarah. Look at that jawbone. (laughs) I gotta get those pronouns right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um. (laughs) So what? What is your? you can say as much or as little as you want. Um, but uh, what is uh, what has Sarah spent her time doing up to this point? Oh, man. Um, I'll try to keep it short. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she um, she basically left the orc encampment that she was in for various reasons. And then uh, kind of just been doing odd jobs and working on a farm because that was the only place that she could actually get hired. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I know it's up to you guys. I know there's a, a possible entwined story in here. So have you guys talked about what you're saying today at all? Yeah, but I, I'm not going to share anything yet. Okay. Um, oh, uh, oh, actually, I know why. Yeah. Don't want to ruin anything, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do I have to? Do I? Oh, do. I, do. I, oh. Uh, so i'm sorry everyone i'm so sorry for what i'm about to do melissa would you like to introduce us introduce us to this being that you've created absolutely Mm. Uh, i'm melissa aka general tampon mel and i will be playing moist milk uh, uh, why did you let her do I am that? I'm so sorry. Why? I am. I am very much angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Matthew would be so angry. Oh. This um, this character she created as an absolute troll to torment us with quite a while ago. And it's never <laughs> gone away. And she's been absolutely pestering me to play this thing. I hate it. But here we go. Why don't you, why don't you tell us a little bit about Moist Milk? Moist Milk is a chaotic neutral paladin. A follower of the deity <laughs> Darmf, who is a lesser deity of the Seelie Court. He's a type of goat man who loves to party and protect nature. Moist Milk is a female what? hex blood. <laughs> who appears as a gray, almost stony textured skin goblinoid. Her gross ferocity stands at a whopping three and a half feet tall. <laughs> and as you can see, she has long, thick, unkept hair and two buns upon her noggin. And if you look closely, all the thread and ropes on her clothing and her weapons is made of her hair. She carries <laughs> a large mace with a goat skull on the end. She carries a net and a whip, which is also made of her hair. She carries bagpipes, but she doesn't play them well, and she uses them as a shield. On her bagpipes is an emblem that is the symbol of Darmv, and Moist Milk was known um, to enter arenas as a gladiator. What? And what? will 
entertain with crappy music or tricks with her mace or whip in exchange for goat milk. Um, <laughs> should I say who my bestie is or no? That's up to you guys. I thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I, I would kind of assumed you were together. Yeah, so Sarah's my bestie. Um, hey! <laughs> what the milk is very protective of Sarah. Um, she's protective of nature as well. Loves to party, but her best hobby is unintentionally insulting people. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining Wish Night. So, yeah. Uh, um, so, what is the... Yeah, do you want to, like, do a, do a full-on uh, voice and show everybody why? It's... Holy crap! Oh my god, Jacob! What Jacob. are you doing? <laughs> Don't give oh, us bits for that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> hey, James, oh god, what are you James, doing? What is happening? <laughs> Hashtag moist milk. No. <laughs> no. Holy shit, you guys! Let me say a big old thank you to Jacob and Buford Bus and Shots for those wonderful donations. No, no. <laughs> we get to hear this. This is uh, your fault, Andy. Yep, yeah, this is fault. this is what we get to put up with from here on out. And I'm I'm Wonderful. sorry. This is why I apologize you or apologize to you guys for this. This is awful, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Cup of Joe, thank you <laughs> for the resale. We moistened. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you guys. Thank you so much. This is unnecessary and you should not encourage this. this <laughs> Do not encourage the moist milk. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Because the other name would have been flagged on Twitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can say it. You can say what the rest of her name is if you didn't already. I did it. Um, that's a long story for that one. You but... don't you don't have to, because I know it was kind of like a, a bit of a cover story, too. Yeah. Which Lewis helped me with. <laughs> uh, Dan, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you so much. It's awesome. Thank you for getting us a little hype train going here. Uh, whoop, whoop. Now, here's a question. Do you guys want me to play it since we're kind of in a lull before we get to any of the gameplay? Oh, you have to play the hype train alert. Okay. Do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I want to yes. see it. Okay. Do it. Do it up. I'm waiting. Anxiously. <laughs> oh, the sound is off. Oh, no. Can you hear it? Wait, can you guys hear it? It might be me. My thing messes up. Nah, I can't hear it. I don't. I have my mute. Oh, the sound isn't playing. Hold on. Oh, Dick said it's on. Is it? Oh, is it? Okay. Good. Oh, maybe it's just it's really Might have low. turned it down too low. Oh, quiet. All right, that's that's what we got for a little fun hype train. It's cheese. It's cheese the ferret. <laughs> it is cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's happening? Crispy. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Chris. Holy crap. Whoa. Thank you for all the gift subs. Holy crap, y'all. Okay. So oh. We oh, are... I don't know if my reactive image is working. It's working. I think for me, I see. It's it working. Anyway. Oh, oh, sorry. Mine's just delayed. I see. Yeah, yeah. There's, Is there's going to be a slight delay. delay. Yep. Cool. Okay. So, um, <laughs> thank you guys for everything. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, that is awesome. I don't know, really know what to say it. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we are <laughs> going to uh, do our next thing here. Uh, thank you, Man Bullet. Thanks for stopping by. Me um, we are going to head on over to our next table or table. And I just looked at the map name, our next screen, <laughs> our next <laughs> table. And we're going to do the next part of this, so this little, this little table here. Um, I had the, the whole group, uh, make their characters kind of secret from each other, unless they wanted to, um, uh, intertwine some backstory. So, they didn't roll anything yet. So we're going to go ahead and roll stats live here. So we've got a, a little a little thing you can do in chat if you would like to help them. And I really wish that the chat box hadn't messed up because it'd be kind of important for you guys to see what was rolled, too. Is this something you can fix? I think like I right have now, to stop stream or uh, OBS to fix. And I don't want to do that. 
Let me see. Mm. I, it was working fine. And then, uh, oh, wow. Let me see. Yeah. Also, is the overlay over top the chat? It looks like the chat's over top the overlay. I don't know if that's important right now or anything, but. No, like, you, are you talking about where the, the little boxes are showing up? No, but that's okay. Mm, should be all right. It's just the one thing messing up. So I, I really don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to have to to get this to work right. Um, I'm going to turn off um, OBS real fast and turn it right back on. So we're, we're going to go down for just a second, but I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Whee! Yay! <laughs> yeah! Uh, I'm afraid to roll stats. She was in denial. <laughs> It's working now, though, it looks uh, like. Yay, we're back. There, we're back. there we go. Yeah. Right. yeah, I don't know what's what made it do that, but like I said, it, it was working fine. So we're back, I think. I think everything's good. Uh, are we good in chat? Are we good? Are we good? Good. So um, what we're doing in, in uh, for our stats, uh, we're going with the uh, roll 46 drop the lowest one method. And um, if chat is feeling friendly and they want to help out, you guys can uh, donate bits to do it. Go reroll. What just happened? I missed something. No, what? Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. He was trying to trigger his single bit thing again. I turned it off. Um, oh. <laughs> So each character can be granted a single stat reroll if they're if you're feeling generous. It's 500 bits for one single reroll. Um, but we're going to do uh, each character at a time. Each character can only get a single reroll gifted to them. Um, so uh, you have any questions about it? Anybody? So it's 500 bits for one full re for like one reroll. One stat reroll. So if there's oh, a one stat say somebody re rolls a three and you wanna you wanna gift them a reroll for that three, you can go ahead and do it. But it's only one per. Um, okay, okay, got it. Yeah. Could could a uh, could a player like let's say uh, if I was feeling generous and somebody's like, ah oh, crap, I rolled a three. Can I donate to that person to do so? Uh, no, no players can donate. Okay. Cool. No, nope, no, nope, nope. players cool. are out. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started here. We're going to go from the same order. So, uh, Albie, go ahead and roll your 46. Drop the lowest one. Oh, boy. All right, so. <laughs> Pray to the dice gods. Do, do I go to that lower left you, uh, folder on uh, lower left folder in the uh, forge, or do I just do the 46 on, uh, uh, on to the right? Either one, and I can I can sort it out either way. If you want to do the, the macro I sent you, you can use that. Or uh, you can just do the dice tray one. I'll do the dice tray run. Yeah. All right. Not bad. That's a 14. 14. That's one. Nice. All right. 11. All righty. Third one. Oof. Eight. Six, eight. They, that's all right. That's all right. That's I, know okay. that I know where that one's going. He's got it. He's got it planned out already. For, for, for comedic purposes. Okay. 12, 13. All right. So 13. All right. Rocking. Let's see. Is it decent? Something high. Give it something high. Okay. Another 14. 14 again. Rocking. And just one more to go. Let's do this. Ooh, here we go. 16? So 16. Nice. Heck yeah. All right. Excellent. That so yeah. for Alby, we have a 14, an 11, an 8, a 13, a 14, and a 16. All right. Oh, yeah. Um. Then we got mozzarella. Okay, my hot, th uh, the little hot key thing disappeared, so I'm just gonna 44 it. Okay. Myself. 
and just let you know when I get everything updated <clears throat> on Beyond or not yet. Uh, you can go ahead and, and update your Beyond stuff right now, yeah. Uh, so oh, the, you didn't update my um, character sheet, did you? No, I was waiting for your stats. Uh, so that okay. one's a 10. Uh, Jay-Z was at for James is 8. Go ahead, uh, Chrissy, with your next one. Key. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Well, 15. Nice. nice. That's real good. Sweet. James, you can reroll your eight when she's done here. We're going to have some okay. powerful players. Sweet. <clears throat> Nine, mm. 11. 11. Right on, Dan. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it, man. 13. Good routine. Justin, thank you for the follow. 11, 13 again. 13. I mean, where I got, I lost track. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one more? One more. Uh, three, six, ten. Ten. All right. All right. I think that's it for me, right? Yeah. Let them re-roll the ones. Yeah. It's always a good one. Um, let's see. Who's next? We got Matthew with uh, Freddy. Oh, hold up. Did you want James to do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, James. All righty. Getting that all set up. And Jay-Z, stop. <laughs> Yell it. I'll Did take it. Was... Wait. Nope. It's just eight. We're, we're good. Just eight again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eight again? <laughs> Like I said, it, it's perfect for comedic purposes. That would be perfect. It, it, I love low rolls. They're fun. Hey, Jay Z just gave five hundred for Moz. Yeah, I feel bad for rolling into the same thing. So I'll bump you up one. You, you can have a nine. I'll be a nine. Yep. Oh, <laughs> see, Jay Z, you're too kind. <laughs> uh, do I do I reroll for Moz then? Yeah, you have one for uh, for Moz. Wow, thank you, Jacob Coon. Jacob Coon. 10, 13. 13. Wow, thank you. So that gives uh, Moss two 13, or three 13s in. Yeah. Excellent. Sweet. Yeah. All right, Freddy. All right. Number you one. Can, you can do it, Freddy. Eight, nine, ten. In. Uh, another ten. Oh boy! Come on, Freddy's Big consistent. Money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice soothing music for this. There we go. There's a fifteen. Nice. Hey. That's what you needed. Making notes of these as I go. I got you. Um, so and eight, another nine. ten or nine. Nine. Wait, nine. Let me check. Nine. We'll go look at it real fast. Uh, no, four, three, I, seven, I trust eight, you. Two, Hello, who is winning? Uh, we're rolling stats, Sawhan. We're rolling up some stats. And there's a fifteen. Nice. Welcome in. Dang, and 215. I think this is the last one. That's excellent. Sawhand, so you're in time to see Beanie roll here shortly. Oh. Uh, seven, ten total. And I am average. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ten, 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 nine, and two fifteens. Yep. All right, I can so deal with that. Go ahead and update your stats and beyond, and uh, let me know when you're done. Yes, sir. Jacob, what are you doing? Are we going to get a reroll for everyone? <laughs> it's, it's kind of what it seems like. Uh, Freddy, go ahead and reroll. You can reroll your nine. Reroll my nine. All right. One, two, three, four. He 
You went up to 10. 10. <laughs> all right. Well, you got rid of your minus. Still one more. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all the difference. There you go. Um, <laughs> next up, we have Albert. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. You got this. <laughs> I'm nervous for Beanie. <laughs> I'm nervous for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got Bad 10. luck. All right, in. Sorry, I got to write it down too. Thank you, Sohan. <laughs> Uh, two, three, actually, what was that? Your dice are kind of hard to read. So we got a five, a three, it's an eight. And we got nine or uh, ten. Ten, yeah. I got to change my <coughs> dice. I didn't get to customize them yet. You're good. Ooh. Uh, a six, a six, and a five. So we have a 17. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Holy cow. Nice. Uh oh, uh, yeah, four, three, three is ten. That's not bad. Lots of tens here. Do I got one more? Is that what it is? You have two more. And saw hand, yeah, it's it's forty six and drop the lowest. Twelve. Yep. There's a twelve. And see, five and three is eight, and three more is eleven. Eleven. All righty. So we got a ten, a ten, a third ten, an eleven, a twelve, and a seventeen for Albert. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. good. Awesome. Next up, we have Beanie. Please Where don't do this. Please don't roll like you did <laughs> in the test run. We believe I in you, Beanie. You got oh, this. It's a real test of luck now. I want to give her bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I have that little thing you had me copy paste. Can I use that? Yeah, that you, should, okay. you should be able to use that. And uh, looks like Jay Z just gave another reroll for Albert, so you can <laughs> roll a ten. Okay, Jacob, thank you for all the bits. You're ridiculous. <laughs> it's funny is uh, wait, what was that? that was uh, an eleven? So it's nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yours worked. I don't have to do any extra. Okay, so that is the number, 11? Yep. Okay. Okay. Come on, big 17s. <laughs> Ambidextrous, thank you. Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, wow. there's uh, three sixes for a maxed out 18. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Excellent. Very, that never happens. <laughs> Very um, good. If I make the noise, maybe it rolls better. <laughs> yes. There you go. <laughs> She sees she's one. Yeah, maybe not. She's one. <laughs> All right, got a 12. The powerful grunt. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. It seems to be working. It's, working. it's don't stop now. You know, oh, 15. I I'd oh, know wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We'll just all stand behind her character. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, I got 17. all the bad rolls out. Yeah, she did. Oh, one more. Oh, uh, <laughs> <you. Wow. laughs> 13. I'll take it. That is I a, a kick ass <laughs> uh, set of stats, Beanie. That is amazing. So, I wish I would have known to make the noise when I was doing it. I'll re roll with noises and grunts. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> we do another round. <laughs> Beanie rolled an 11, a 12, a 13, a 15, a 17, and 18. And Jay Z wants you to re roll that 11. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't make, hey, to be fair, I didn't make a noise at the first one. Yeah. So maybe that's, uh, yep, yeah. that's true. It's only fair. Watch. <laughs> no. That's 12. Uh, so oh, you know what? It went up one. All of yeah. these rerolls have gone up one. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> oh, I gotta still do my reroll. Let's see if it goes up one. Yep. Do the grunt gear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went up uh, two. two. I went up yep. two. Yay. Oh. Thank you, Jay Z. Thank you. Uh, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are horrible. It's hilarious. All right, here we go. Come on, Lewis. 
Nine. Come on. What is that? 13. Yeah. Nine, 13. Nice. All right. Good start. Should have checked to make sure my pen was working. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm writing it down for you. Oh, that's good, too. Okay. 11, 13, 14. 14. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Oh, you got you to gotta make the grunt. <gasps> yeah, I have the beanie set in the trend here. Yeah, make the noise. <laughs> look, look at this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It works. Oh, it works. This is right. fantastic. Oh, all the time. <laughs> Can we all re-roll yeah. noises? Twist is all of its grunting. Uh, that one's not that great. Uh, is eight ten? That's all right. All right. What is that? Two more. <laughs> yep, two more. <laughs> yes, <I'm> thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Ambie says this must be a thing for the whole campaign yeah. now. <laughs> Every time we roll. <laughs> uh, it's another 13. Another 13. All right. Excellent. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Only for important roles. Yeah. <laughs> to say it with feeling. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have true intention behind it, then it's not going to work right. Hey, it's true. You can actually affect it. Affect and roll with your thoughts. You can re-roll your 10. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, much better. Yeah, uh, 14. Your yeah. 10 went up to a 14. Nice. Uh, Man Bullet jumped in with one as well. So uh, we'll, we'll apply his to um, Moist Milk. So that'll be it for the rerolls. There's no more rerolls. They've all been spent. Um, that one that one went up by four. Most of the other ones were uh, just a plus one. But that one worked quite well. So uh, Sarah ended with a 13. Or three thirteens, my bad. Two fourteens and a fifteen. Hmm. Nice. Uh, let's see. Moist milk. Ugh. Sounds so upset. We have to I say this it. all throughout this campaign. <laughs> moist milk. And I can't even no, shorten no. it because I'm either going to call you moist or milk. <laughs> it's terrible. And both are bad. I hate it. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. All right. First roll. Better than I'm dry milk. Huge. <laughs> no. It's going to be a fan favorite. You I somehow tell. got the dice to stack on your roll. <laughs> 12. Moist grunt. MM. Yeah. Moist grunt. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. She's got a 17. Jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Just call That's her right. Mo. Uh oh. I didn't groan. Seven, ten. <laughs> got nine. Oh. All right. You do have a built-in reroll from Man Bullet, though. Yeah, you uh, do. Ten. The dice gods are punishing you for making me do this. <laughs> Don't be upset, Angie. <laughs> uh, there's a fourteen. Manifesting the moist, Joe. No, <laughs> no, no, manifesting the moist. No, <laughs> 11. All right, so go ahead and reroll your nine. More than usual number of dairy based names. <laughs> A 11. So you pop your nine up to an 11. Excellent. So you guys want to, uh, <laughs> Did you write down what Green. all I had? Yeah, I got you. Uh, moist milk ended that. Oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> With a 10, an 11, an 11, <clears throat> a 12, a 14, and a 17. Yeah. So you guys all got some, some pretty decent dice rolls there. With yeah. uh, I think, I think uh, Beanie was the clear-cut winner with uh, yes. 18, yeah. 17, kind of 15. Oh, yeah. Stacks. Yeah, yeah, stack sorcerer. <laughs> uh, that was good though because Beanie, when we were doing our test rolls, she rolled absolutely terrible. Like to the point I've never <laughs> seen someone test roll stats worse than that. Consistently terrible. I think there were four single digit numbers out of six. <laughs> that was rough. That was not it good. Definitely made up for it today. It was awesome. Okay. So. Um, if you guys, uh, we're, we're going to take a second while they update their, uh, their names and beyond, and I can get them moved in. Uh, and next time we play, I'll have it. So you guys won't have to see any of the menus or anything, and we can just worry about the game. 
But for now, you're going to see some of the, the DM menus and all that. So uh, we are going to go into uh, James. Are you ready to go? I'm, I'm ready when you are. You're uh, you're beyond. Oh, yeah. Did yeah, you tell got, us yeah. all to put our points in? Yeah, put your points in, change your names. And yeah, uh, I, uh, I got mine all updated. Cool. Get everybody. I'm, I'm trying to remember the best. Just for bards, it's charisma, right? Charisma, charisma for bards. Charisma for sure, and then probably like what Dex and Constitution. Yeah, yeah. The rest is up oh, to you, like how you want to to uh, flavor it and everything. Um, who's next? Um, <clears throat> you're still working on yours, Maz. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm just making a just sit in here. Uh, Freddy, all done. Cool. Whoops, showed the artwork instead. But there they go. Everybody gets to see Freddy for a bonus. Yeah. Beyond Importer with this thing makes. Uh, oh, you had to set your character to public, by the way, before I can import ah. you. Uh, Garen, is Albert ready to go? Yes, I believe so. No, you have to turn yours public too. It's all right. We're learning. Uh, wait, mine is public. Uh, Sarah? Uh, uh, turning it to public now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, good. Forgot that I set it to private. Public. Got it. Sweet. So yeah, this is this is using the D and D Beyond Importer. It lets me bring all their stats directly in here, so I don't have to input it all by hand. Which this this thing saves me a ton of time. So I use the crap out of it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm public. Sorry, Andy. Oh, you're good. The names are all updated. Did, did I set mine to public? I think so, because yours went fine. Okay, cool, cool. Just want to make sure. Anyone going to be the leader? Uh, that'll probably sort itself out. I have, I have some ideas. Um, but we'll see. Uh, is Moist Milk ready to go? <sighs> just about. Just uh, looking at my ability <laughs> score increase. Okay. Um, Maz? Um, I want to be, but I don't see the ability in a score increase thing, which I think we may have told me might not work or something. Yeah, because it's a homebrew. So, um, you can leave what you have and I can force it to update in Foundry. Okay, so just, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working at all. Something something up. definitely looks not right, so I guess I'll let you Skillium Skillium's working on a ban. He's working on a ban. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Twisted, you do get the bonus, but I made her um her race is a homebrew race. And I don't think I did the homebrew stuff for it properly. This is mozzarella. So I have to go in and make sure to uh, to get it set up. But until then, I can force it in uh, in Beyond or in uh, Foundry. I mean. Uh, that's a ferret. That uh, Mozzarella is based on her IRL ferret cheese. Yeah, cheese. A what? It's adorable. Jay-Z says I owe him a. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? did you miss it? Yeah. <laughs> did you miss it? Yeah, I, I didn't did. see it either. So I, I, I got to turn those off for for uh, D and D time, but he did redeem it, so he's getting that today. And cheese the ferret is actually deaf. Yep. She's, yeah, he's deaf for real. Cheese the ferret is a deaf bard. <laughs> Mozzarella is a deaf bard. Cheese um, is a deaf ferret. <laughs> Beanie, are you set with Lavana? Do you need any help? Um, I think I did it. I, there seems to be like a lot of pluses. Is that normal? <laughs> like up top? Yeah, you, you yeah. have really good. Role. Yeah, your stats are ridiculous. So you're going to have all the pluses. Okay. <laughs> What's high score mean? Did I win? <laughs> <laughs> Does a 25 hit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah your character is going to be badass. Or watch me beef every roll going forward. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, those are, those are ridiculous. Um... Just want to make sure you got your your bonuses and stuff, and we can check this afterwards too. It looks good right off the bat, but 
Yeah, I'll have to look at it and be on just to make sure. <laughs> you won the character generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she absolutely you did. did. <laughs> All right, just the the two C stars. Whenever you well, guys are good, I let mean, me know. I, I guess you can, like, it's all broken, but you can if you want to. Okay. <laughs> if you want to do the things. You have your roles yeah. added, though, right? Yeah, my actual roles are added at the top. Okay. Um, what did you want your plus two in? Charisma? Of course. All right, so change that from 15 to 17. And what would you like your plus one in? Um... Dex or Constitution, Dex or Constitution. Mm, Dex helps with um, stealing with uh, that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most people would be like, yeah, agility or you being, you know, slick or something. Stealing? Yeah. Stealing? Theft? <laughs> yeah, stealing and theft. <laughs> she is yeah, a fairy. Yeah, it next. Yeah, it's oh, true. There's going to be a lot of stealing in this game, I think. Yep. And it could get you guys in a lot of trouble, so. Oh, Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll put your, your plus one into Dex. Mm-hmm. Um, Am I supposed to have pluses to other things that aren't showing up, or is that it? Uh, strength is no. Well, yeah, strength is no. Um, intelligence ten was would be no plus. Uh, it looks like the rest no of it's plus. good to go. Okay, okay, just checking. I couldn't tell if it was right or not. Yeah. All right. So, uh, ugh, I, the other name is almost just as bad or worse. Palabia. Yeah, Palabia. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. And she's rocking an 18 AC off the bat, so I'm sure wow. that'll be fun. Wow. Mm -hmm. Andy? Yes? <laughs> Andy. I, I'm sorry, but I could just see that whole thing where you're on the beach and you're just like, no, you bastards! And you see a giant moist milk statue off in the off near the sea. <laughs> like, uh, the apes. No. <laughs> no, thank you at all. Mm -mm. Oh. All right. So, yeah. Um, we have our, our stats set. We've got our characters rolled up. Um, next, uh, we're going to get into a little, uh, a little, little bit of introductions. Thank you, Optaria. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Most of these maps are. Uh, <laughs> Jim. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Most right. of the maps you'll see during our gameplay I've made in Dungeon Alchemist. Um, it's my favorite map making software. Uh, we will see some of the default uh, maps from the uh, from the adventure book. And we're going to see some extras from a, a pack I picked up on DMs Guild to kind of help flesh out some of the things. And for a little extra um, expectations, the the core adventure is not so heavy on the combat, but if you remember, I introduced my players as uh, miscreants and murder hobos. They like to fight things. So there's going to be more combat in this than there normally would be in the Witchlight Adventure. There's going to be some some changes and some challenge difficulties increases because there's seven of them and they all rolled really well. That wasn't going to play a part in it, but still. Um, so I'll be tinkering with it a little bit throughout to make things a little bit harder. Uh, we do have a massive group, and I think this was built for four to five people. Um, but we'll mm -hmm. make it work. And if they blow through it, they blow through it. And as long as they have fun, I don't really care. So, um, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to head on over to. You know what? All seven of you roll a D20. We'll go in order. Give me a second. I had to reload uh, Forge. Yep. Or Foundry. You know, same thing. Yeah. Melissa with six. Yeah, There's those rolls. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Lose an 18. We need some more D20s. Oh, there we go. Look like uh, Foundry had a hiccup. A 5, 5, 14, and 17. Okay. Um, Beanie, I'm sorry. You're going first here. <gasps> oh, no. I was like, I'm dead last. <laughs> <laughs> push, her out, push her out on stage. <laughs> <laughs> throw her out in front of everyone. So, uh, 
uh, let me switch over the scene and get some uh, tunes going here. Is she by herself in this one? She is. She is. Oh. At a bar. At a nice little tavern. Um, Pixie, thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. So, Beanie, or Lavana, I should say, you are at the bar of a very nice looking tavern. Um, it is a well stocked bar. You have a, uh, a dice tray in front of you and a pretty sizable pile of gold chilling on the bar right around you. Uh, you're, you're sitting there with a, a nice big old bar pretzel, a little bit of cheese, and of course your favorite drink. Um, beside you, as I forget to pull up my notes, whoop, there we go. Um, let's see. Beside you, you are next to a Tall, lanky human man. He got some greased, slicked hair. Um, he looks to be sweating profusely as uh, the game is quite on the line here. We're going to play something that's licensed that I won't say out loud, but um, it's definitely not that game. It's not at all. Um, Beanie, what you're trying to accomplish here is either roll a straight set of numbers on 5d6 or get five of a kind and you have a maximum of three rolls to do so, you can keep any amount of dice and re-roll any other ones that you would like. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you need a straight run of either one through five or two through six, or you need five of a kind on three dice rolls. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> sorry. I'm confused already. <laughs> Uh, Jay-Z knows what it's, what's happening here. <laughs> um, okay, so I put, five, what was it, five? Uh, sorry. 5d6. It's in the uh, the dice tray at the bottom there. Yes. Yep. Okay, and then just roll that. It's yep. called Dice Throne. No, no, it's not. Uh, yep, you roll those, and then uh, we can look at what exactly you rolled. Oh, I didn't do five of them. Oh, you click the uh, the die symbol five times. Oh, okay. The, the uh, hitting the plus adds a bonus to your roll. Five. And bullet, it's absolutely not dice thrown. <laughs> oh, okay, so Beanie's first roll is that of a one, a two, and three fives. So Beanie, which ones would you like to re-roll? Well, I guess the, the lower two. Okay. Go ahead. Does that just two? Yep, just 2d6. Oh, I rolled it into two fours. All right, did you see the man next to you who's sweating profusely? Uh, suddenly changes and he gets a huge grin on his face. Like up to this point, Beanie, you're Levana. Um, your luck at this game has been astounding, but you kind of stalled out here towards the end. Uh, he's been able to come back a little bit and it's it's pretty much the game relying on this last roll here. You gotta roll two fives on these next two dice or he's gonna win everything on the table in front of you. <gasps> Such pressure. Oh, you gotta, hold on. I, got, I gotta do my grunt. I'm gotta, like, hold, on. The grunt. <laughs> hold on. Hold <laughs> on. No! That time. <laughs> oh. With a cheer. He's, yes! Yes! I get it all! And he starts just raking all the money in towards himself. He takes oh, the no. coin purse in front of you. He takes the coin purse in front of him. Uh, could he sleight of hand to cheat? You... You could. So... Yeah, and the fact that we're teaching, I will, I will say this is something you could do. Uh, we'll... we'll We'll rewind a little bit. Beanie, on this last roll, you know how important this is. I gotta stop calling Beanie. Lavana. <laughs> get, get in character here. Lavana, with how important this, this final roll is, if you want to try, you can make a, a sleight of hand check when you go to roll these again to see if you can influence uh, one or both of the die. Okay. Let me try to remember how to do that. Hold on. <laughs> so check. You, you can do it one of two ways. You can click your token and go to the bar at the top. Uh, 
um, go to skills and then you can click on sleight of hand. Or you can hit C while your token selected and open your character sheet. And on the underneath the tributes, um, you can click sleight of hand down there. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna just yeah, roll up my sleeves a little bit. <laughs> Look real prepared. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little normal roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice. So you had uh, a one and a three. Are you trying to change um, one die or both on this roll on your reroll both here? Dies. OK, so go ahead and reroll the, the, the final 2d6 here. And I'm going to yeah. roll a perception check for him. Sneeze when you do it. They won't notice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> yeah do it. <laughs> Oh, work. That's the... Beanie, Lavana, God damn it! I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Look, not you, not the brightest crate on the box. You uh, <laughs> you do roll a match set of numbers. They're both ones. However, your uh, your little grunt when you roll the die, he he looks over at you real quick to make sure everything's all right. And your eighteen beats his thirteen perception. You are able to casually slide your hand over the die and switch both faces to fives. You oh my, would you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? No, no, no. Oh, that's just my luck. You know, I've been taking all that now. Thank you. <laughs> what? No, no, no I, was, I was winning. What, what happened? Well, you can't win them all, can you? <laughs> uh, he just absentmindedly reaches down to the chicken in his bowl and gnaws on a leg as he watches you gather up all the money in front of you. I give him, I give him one little coin. Slap it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's for being a sweetheart. There you go. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, there's a cheer that goes up around, uh, around you. People were kind of invested in your game that you had going on here, right? And the barkeep, you notice it's a you know, portly dude behind the bar here. With his, he's got his uh, smock on and he's wiping down the bar. He says, um, oh, that looks like a pretty good winning. Seems you could yeah, finally pay me back. Thing. Oh, you know, you see, I would, but this is this is for rent. I, OK, you know, I got yours next week, though. How about that? Well, <laughs> it seems that uh, to get the crowd cheering for you and really rooting your way, you. Uh, all those rounds of drinks you bought. That I can't let you leave without paying for them. Oh, you know what? OK, I got you. And I take two coins out and slide it towards him. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no. Uh, he he looks at what you've got and he, you can see him kind of counting down one finger going through to the stacks. Kind of hefts one of the coin purses. He takes the two that you gave him and hands you two gold back. He slides it across the counter. He says, a night's worth of drinking for a full house like this. Th this, this is your cut. Well, that seems that seems a little steep, doesn't it? You bought a lot of drinks and being well. Lavana would know that the establishment that she's in is a really, really nice tavern. Uh, you were the reason you were drawn here. It's uh, it's pretty fancy. Uh, your gambling habits knew that this was a, a, a nice place to uh, to go in, most likely earn some coin or potentially steal it. But. I also know that there's a good chance you might lose a fair chunk of money. Well, you know, I had all these, all these patrons in here to watch me play. I think cut, cut me a little slack. I'm trying to have a bit of, bigger cut than that, huh? Uh, make a... <laughs> how, about, how about a 50-50? Make a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> oh... Uh, he says... No, no, definitely not 50 50. Hey, he, he digs around for a second, pulls out one more gold coin. He says, you're still coming in richer or you're still leaving richer than you came in. 
Well, yeah, the bar's kind of low there, but that's, you know, <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. Mm hmm. Twisted's right. You would have been in a tight spot had you lost that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Twisted was the one that uh, recommended a sleight of hand check. So he, he saved Levana a, a little bit of trouble there. Um, Levana, um, yeah, you have three more gold than you came in with. But you are watching the barkeep take the piles of gold and two coin purses back to this nice little cabinet um, at the, the back wall here where he opens the coffer on there and, and dumps his, his earnings in. Um, what would you like to do in here? Um... Hmm. Can I, can I, I guess, investigate where he puts his, his money? Can I get a better look at it? Yeah, so you can take a, a look at this little coffer back here. Um, it looks like a nice, sturdy, strong box. It is out in the open, but you can tell when he walks away and closes the lid that it, uh, it looks to be like uh, a nice, finely made lock on it. Hmm. Uh, can I make a arcana check on it? Like, does it seem magical at all? You can make an arcana check. Okay. Seventeen. Um, you are fairly sure it's not magical at all. It's just a just a, a nice, finely crafted uh, lockbox. Hmm. Um. I guess, do I notice anything else around the room? Is anybody looking looking like they have a lot of money that they want to gamble away to me? Uh, so you look around and there are people playing cards. There are uh, a group of people that are also rolling dice. It seems to be a different game. Um, but everybody that, that looks like they want to gamble appears to be gambling at the moment. Like they, they seem like paired off, grouped up. You think that maybe you could like get into a game, but you'd have to wait a little while at least. Hmm. Uh, I guess... I don't know if I want to try to steal that. That seems a little bold. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a line at the roulette table. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess I'd, you know, take my three sad gold coins, kind of, kind of slink out. Maybe I'm done for the night. Okay. So you, you head out, the, or you get up to head out, and some of the, the players that were around watching you, um, you know, that, that was a good run. That was a good run. There's, there's, give us an entertaining night. We appreciate it. Uh, and they get some other congratulations on the way out the door. You get outside. It's a nice, cool night. Uh, it's not too cold, but it's just after being in the, the sweaty, smelly tavern, high end though it is, it's packed full of people. Um, people drinking nonetheless. Um, you hear this. What? This weird <laughs> buzzing sound of impossibly fast beating wings. Uh, I'd, I'd look around to find where that's coming from. <laughs> okay. It takes you a second, but sort of like looking around and, and, and trying to figure out like the, it, it's moving around so fast. It feels like it's kind of circling around you. Um, you're able to discern that whatever this thing is, it, it's coming from behind the sign of the tavern. I take, take a little peek. Okay. You, you pop around the sign and there's a little pixie. It looks like a little mechanical pixie floating behind the sign of the tavern. The little tiny pixie is holding a normal sized envelope. It appears to be struggling, but it's still it's still staying airborne. Um, it looks at you and kind of cocks its head around like a bird or, or an insect. Um, it flies right up in your face and looks at you for a minute. Can, can I help you? Mm. 
the head twists around more, a little bit more, and you, you hear that. <laughs> and it, it nods at you. It looks up at the envelope and struggles. Like, you can see it struggling to try to lift it up to you. At, the, you know, like, at this point, it's been kind of dangling it down, like its arms are down by its knees and it's struggling to keep aloft. And it's, it's really having a hard time picking up this envelope, but it looks like it's trying to hand it to you. Takes me a second, kind of stare. Oh, this for me? I just kind of, kind of hold out my hands, but I don't take it from her. And it nods. Uh, it nods increasingly faster as you're not taking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. well, this is straight. I don't even have an address here. You know, I'll, I'll take it for you. That looks kind of heavy. You, you take the envelope from her and it, it like bobs in the air like you just took a great weight off of it. Uh, it looks at you and this time without doing the, the bugger bird twitching around, it looks at you dead in the eyes, gives you a polite nod and zips away into the night. Hmm. Well, that's mysterious. Um, is there anything strange about the envelope? Does it look weird? Uh, it's just a, a regular, um, a pretty nice looking envelope, like something that um, you'd think like a, a lord or lady might send out. And you can see a, a bright red wax seal on the other side. Uh, there's a strange looking symbol on it that you, you don't quite recognize. Mm. Okay, kind of look around, see if anybody's, anybody's watching. Pop it open. Okay, doesn't appear like anyone's out, or, out and around. Then rip it open. <laughs> okay. So inside, um, you see a letter and the letter says... Um, Dear ma'am, I've had my eye upon you for quite some time. I would like to invite you to my home. I have an important, uh, an important uh, subject to go over uh, with you. Uh, I request you at your earliest convenience. If you could, uh, please join me. And below that, uh, he has the directions listed on how to get to his house. And... Um, it's it's not too far away. It's within a few days of, of walking. Um, and it's signed uh, Madrick Rosloff. Mm, I don't know no Madrick unless I forgot. I'm pretty bad with names. No, this mm. isn't this isn't one your amnesia would have played a part in. This is someone you don't know. Okay. Well, this seems a little suspicious. So it's not far from where I'm at? No, just probably just a few days of walking and maybe uh, half that if you uh, had a ride. Mm. I, uh, I guess I'm, I'm just like, okay, well, I, this seems important. I guess I'll just, I better go there. Okay. <laughs> Does I have any other plans? Just kind of like, all right, let's go. <laughs> All right. And then it seems like it would it'd play into uh, Levana's more like kind of carefree and nomadic lifestyle. Mm hmm. All right. So. With that, Levana turns and heads off down the road into the night to go find a place to stay and continue a journey on to find this mysterious uh, Madrick and where he lives. Beanie. That was it. Thank you for uh, for playing. Definitely not Yahtzee. <laughs> I didn't. I, it took me like a couple of rolls. I was like, wait, I am playing Yahtzee. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was never good at Yahtzee. <laughs> All right. And let's see. We got we had some more rolls up here. Let's go see what we got. We had a four. I think there was a five in there. Oh, there was. Uh, so because you guys are all together, this makes things a little quicker, a little easier. We're going to go here and activate this one. Can I ask you while you're doing this in the window, uh, can you bump that up at all? The uh, foundry chat? Um, let's see. If I you can't, that's OK. I might have to adjust the overlay. I really hope this decides to roll. Or to load, I mean. I think you did it. Maybe. 
I oh. realize the overlay is kind of covering uh, the most recent roll. Foundry, no. <laughs> there, oh, oh, there we go. You can do it. It's, it's struggling, but it's going to get there. You can do it. I believe in you. He's trying real hard. You just got to reach deep down inside and just show the world your soul. <laughs> <laughs> your whole soul? You can, you can do it. Come on, Forge. Come on, Foundry. I, I believe in you so much. No, oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. I think our I think our internet's having a bit of a hiccup. Load. Is it? Oh, load. It's slow loading. It's like ninety some percent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this this is what ha this is what happens when you have owls. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's ninety eight percent. Is this loading a video Wait. scene? It, it's go. an animated map. Yeah. That might be why it's taking a second. Um, it loaded super quick earlier. I'm having trouble loading uh, Sirenscape stuff too, which is what we're using for our sound. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check. Does everybody hear the sound? Has everybody been I, hearing the music? Yeah, I hope so. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds great. Excellent. Super good. Do, is this something that'll be playing through like just Twitch and hear it or just us? Uh, Twitch should be able to hear it. Oh, animated maps are so great. Yeah, if they load. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> it loaded for me. Oh, did it? Yeah. Hey, excellent. Oh, Actually, there's, so some, there's some chaos going on. Let me, let me stop this and restart it. Whoa. There we go. Ooh. I'm loving the music. Oh, yeah, Foundry, it is come real on. nice. I feel like somebody killed my father and somebody needs to prepare to die, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my internet crapping out. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Well, it's not out out. It's just not loading anything I wanted to right now. It's How's, actually been really good today for me anyway. It has been. Uh, how's everybody doing? How you doing, chat? There we go. You could, um, uh, can you start without it? Oh, wait, it, nope. it, never mind. There never it goes. Mind. Never mind. I'll shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. No wonder why that took a minute. Okay. I see why it took a minute. Oh, my. It gosh. took a minute. It's a small map, wow. though. Wow. It, it was loading super quick earlier. And of course, it started the stream and decides not to. Whoa. There's a lot of cool stuff. I need a second on my end. My end, my end it's like 95% still. You're good, James. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, you can still hear it, so I can uh, I can walk through a little bit of it here. Um, and the small town, the small riverside town of Little Woods, there are two shops. There is uh, Halford General Goods, running by Mr. Halford Treesbane himself. And on the other side of the river, there is a little bakery. Um, bakery is run or is named um, Bethel Bee's Bakery. Uh, the little halfling woman that owns and runs it. Uh, Freddy, you find yourself immediately drawn to Bethelby's Bakery. Inside, you see a just ridiculous assortment of uh, uh, pies, baked goods, sweet breads, uh, all kinds of regular breads, rolls, croissants. Um, she has a little bit of everything. She sees you come in and she says, oh, hello. Uh, hi there. Oh, look at you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to be rude. Oh, how can I help you? I'm Bethel oh. B. And this is my bakery. Oh, my gosh. They're so ready. Hey, straight. <laughs> they look amazing. <laughs> you bake all of these yourself? I do. I, I love making all these. This is this is my passion. Oh, is that a bear claw? Oh, those are hard to make. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Those take some time. Oh, goodness. Oh, ah. Uh, oh, my goodness. I, oh, I kind of forgot why I came in here. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, oh, uh, hello. My name is, uh, my name is Freddy. Um, Freddy Honey Tree. Or, uh, God, God, when, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. Have you seen, a uh, an owl lady? Uh, Perhaps her name's uh, 
Amelia Godwin? Uh, someone such as yourself? No. Yes, yes. No, I haven't. I, I'm very glad you stopped in, though. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Thank your, you. Your words are too kind. Oh, what they're well deserved. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Uh, well, uh, hold on. I'm um, so, um, going to my inventory to see how much money I actually have. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I would like a, a a dozen pastries, please. A dozen pastries? Yeah. Um, yes, yes, please. I, I have I have to try these. They smell delicious. They're so good looking. She looks you up and down, and the the picture of Freddy. Does that um accurately portray how Freddy would look on a day to day? Whoops. He's got his, his spoon and his, his fork tucked into his sash and he carries around a pan. And does he keep the pan stowed? Uh, the the pan is kind of like situated in between his bird wings. Okay. So you got it slung over your back? Yeah. Okay. Um, she sees the, the spoon and the fork and she, she looks at you and she says, do you, do you bake too? Absolutely. Uh, I haven't had an oven for a while, though. Whoa. Well, um, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I've never seen someone quite like you before. And to find out you're a fellow baker, um, w would you care maybe t teaching me a recipe or, or cooking something like that's special to you that I may not have seen? Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, well, um, you know, uh, <laughs> the only thing I really know at the top of my head is my mother's, um, snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles? I, I, go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, you take some dough, um, just make like a sugar cookie, and you apply some, uh, cinnamon on top, uh, and my mother would make it with a little hint of nutmeg right on top there. Right, so she uh, she's listening very intently. Um, runs around in the uh, in the bakery here. Whoops! I just flung her outside. Uh, she goes and grabs ingredients and comes back just a few minutes later and sets them down on the table for you. She says, "Please, please, it, it, I tell you what. If you cook me a batch of your mother's snickerdoodles, um, I'll give you a dozen pastries. Just oh. would you?" allow me to to write down your recipe and, and sell them later on or oh. is, if it's something special and i i completely understand no 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 she would love for her recipe to be spread it's it's yes sweets are made for treats oh oh thank you thank you so um i'll step out and i i could use the rest anyway and the kitchen is yours oh Oh my goodness, I will, oh, it, it will be as clean as though you left it. Thank you, thank you. Um, and she goes and she, she sits down in the chair that's in the, in the front of the, the building here. And uh, she just kind of kicks back and relaxes. She lets you have at it. So, all right. Freddie, what stat would you like to roll to see how, just how good your cookies come out? Uh, uh, if you can make it make sense, I'll let you pick. Uh, I would say sleight of hand. Well, I meant uh, more a tribute oh, instead of dexterity. skill. Okay. So, uh, go ahead. Tell me how what you're doing to get ready and make a dex roll for the first part of this. Well, I begin to preheat the oven to a nice hot degree, about 375, like mom used to make. <laughs> um, and I start kneading the dough as best as I can, adding a generous amount of sugar and flour. Um, make sure it's all nice and tucked in. And I remember her would 
as you press her thumb down into the dough itself, and then uh, sprinkle some cinnamon right on top and add in her special nutmeg um, on that as well. Perfect. So with all that, go ahead and roll um, your dex dexterity check and add a plus two to it for uh, all of your setup. And while you're doing that, I will look into this audio thing real quick like. Dexterity. Oh gosh, everything's exploding. <laughs> Don't explode, please. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, twenty-three. This this goes fantastic. Um, you've taken your time to to gather everything, do everything just like your mom taught you, just like your mom's recipe taught you, just like it says. Um, you're. Uh oh, oh uh, no! Don't crash. No, <laughs> don't crash, please. Good. Yeah, you just did really good. No, that part saved. I wouldn't take that from you. Um, <clears throat> you put it in the oven. You set the time, and um, Bethel B, she's been watching you get all your ingredients together and go through everything. And I want to move her, but I can't. And I'm wondering if that's because. Foundry is bone for me, but I can still keep talking here. Um, yeah, the Bethel B watches you. She's she's gotten up out of her seat as you're going on, and you can see her scribbling some notes down. And she occasionally will slide back into her smock and just watch, and then like, she'll see something particularly interesting and jot it down again. Um, but she uh, she thinks you're you're about ready for the oven. She walks over and. Um, uh, are are you ready? Uh, I I can get the door for you. So I, I absolutely would not want to see you drop them. They look amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I, I I appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Right. Uh, so she heads over and uh, can I move now? Let's see if I can move. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, she heads over, uh, opens up the, the heavy door for you, and um, she sees that you're, you're even smaller than she is as, as a halfling. So she like kicks over a little small step stool for you so you can get up there. Oh. Oh, my gosh. This place has everything. <laughs> All right. So you... I can't move either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll just we'll just go with a pure RP for now. RP for now. Um, Theater of the mind. Yeah. Uh, so you get the cookies in there. Um, how are you telling passage of time, or what are you doing to make sure you don't burn the cookies? Uh I'm I'm doing what Mama Honey Tree taught me, and that is you say the recipe or you say the name of the dish, but you count as you do it. So it's one sticker doodle, two sticker doodle, three sticker doodle, <laughs> four sticker doodle <laughs> until you get to about 50 or so. And then you check on them. OK, um, just do a wisdom check. Make sure you didn't get too distracted. Wisdom check. Should be a flat roll. I am broken. <laughs> uh, you can roll in beyond or you can roll physical dice. Either one's fine. Let me reload Foundry real quick and see if that fixes it. <laughs> All right. So I think you guys can see um, inside of Dungeon Alchemist here. Yeah, it looks nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Mac. Let me, let me lovely. get back to uh, what we're doing here. I guess, can you put tokens in? Or does it take like a minute? I don't have tokens that match, but I could put something in. 
you know, like, could you use the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, the assets that let you put textures on them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And slap, like, a plane down with our token art on it or something? Yeah. So, uh, sorry, guys, you're you're watching some uh, some real quick uh, slap it together improv. <laughs> 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 Just so we can keep going on with this scene, at least. I think I can, I think I can knock out uh, a few things here right quick. Honestly, with all the technical stuff that happened, you're doing really great with it. All right. So let's see. I'll do oh, yeah. abstract. We're going to throw these down. Uh, everybody's learning Dungeon Alchemist. Yeah, everybody's right learning Dungeon Alchemist on the fly here. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'll explain while I'm going so you guys know what's happening. Whoops. My bad. Um, these abstract items, they're just green screen. I can throw whatever image on them. So I'm just going to go find our, uh, our art or token art rather. And this was Freddy. Shoot. This map is really pretty, though. It's so pretty, though. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah, look at that. All cute. Cute. Whoops. Yes. Oh. Seaster General Tampon, you did such a good job on the character art. Mm hmm. This was Albi. I don't know why it loads you in upside down. Uh, and this was Albert. I guess you could just use whatever for the yeah the NPCs, I guess. Yeah, because I didn't have custom art for them. So we've got... Yeah, this totally works out. Okay. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's cute. Oh, it's so cute. All right. This works for what we need. I didn't intend to do a session in Dungeon Alchemist, but that's what <laughs> Dungeon Alchemist, the uh, crap. What do you call it? What do you call it? Like founder and all that. It's the uh, VTT. Uh, yeah, VTT. That's where I'm looking for is is Dungeon Alchemist VTT. Do I have? Uh, this will work. All right. This is this is improv on the fly working with uh, working with Foundry. The only problem or working with a uh, Dungeon Alchemist, that is the only problem is I can't show now. You know what? You know what? I think I can. Uh, no, no, I have to sign up for it. Never mind. I'll get that working in the meantime. So you guys will just uh, be trusted to roll your own dice um, either in Beyond or in Foundry. If we roll in beyond, uh, we can all see it. Yeah. Thanks. So. Won't roll on screen, I guess, though. It right? won't roll yeah, on screen, but I'll make sure I uh, let everybody know what you guys roll. Okay. Um, actually, it didn't take too long to set all that back up. Okay. This mill is hypnotizing. <laughs> <laughs> hypnotizing. Or not wind wheel. Water mill. Yep. Water wheel. That grinder. That nothing's cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You're talking. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 Why though? Why not? <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is improv to the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I failed the save. Oh god. <laughs> that was um, perfect. Let's see. All right. Um so we were over at um Freddy. Hello. <laughs> There we go. Back to the music. We're, this is just a short hiccup. There we go. We're back. Uh, we're playing in this. This will work for now. Did you start the music? I just. Oh, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK. The wilder thing would be if it was all planned. Yeah, this this definitely was not planned. It just works. Uh, thank you for suggesting we just run it in um, Dungeon Alchemist Lady Mustella. Uh, it's kind of a yeah. kind of a butt saver. Also, you can see the map in like full high res. And it looks fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's 3D. 
That's super cool. Look at those pies. Uh, I could go for some pies. <laughs> Bam, pies. Those pies look really good. <laughs> Glorious pies. Oh, look at the gingerbread man. Oh, oh, there we go. I can get some. What? Gingerbread man? Oh, oh there we my go. God. Get some more cinematic shots this way, too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at those bun clusters. Look at, oh. <laughs> look at Freddy stamped what? into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you've taught her, uh, you've taught Bethelby how to make your, your family's famous snickerdoodle pies or snickerdoodle cookies. Um, now I want snickerdoodle pie. Yeah. Mm, yeah that does sound good. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, uh, she says, well, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, these are absolutely amazing. Um, I promise I will not share your recipe with anyone else. I, I will just make them for my own business here. And I'm sure people will love these. Oh, it's a fa it's a family favorite back home. Uh, so I'll just take these bear claws and uh, here's one gold coin just for you. And I'm, I'm not going to hear anything to the otherwise. Uh, you worked hard on these and you earned it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I I won't try to give it back to you. I, I appreciate it. Um, she, you come back anytime, okay? You're always welcome here. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. So, Freddy, with that, what would you like to do? I... Do I know uh, everyone is back... Um, in this other building over there? Yeah, you guys, um, <clears> have <throat> been traveling together. I think you guys told me for a few days now. Um, yeah. Yeah, you would know that they stopped off into the other shop. Like, this was far more appealing. And you could, you could smell the bakery from across the river. Like, it, you just kind of followed your nose like one of those old cartoons. Just, just nose up in the air, feet off the ground, kind of, you know, like, hovering towards it. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, you would know that they're back at the other shop. So if, if you'd right. like to head over there, we will just zip on over here to go see what uh, Albie and Albert are doing. Um, inside this shop, you guys, um, we get a, I guess if we have the ability to do little turnarounds and stuff, we might as well use it. Um, you are in... Make sure I got the names right. Uh, oh, he needs to be shrunk. That's what needs to happen. Whoop. Because uh, right in front of you. Um, oh, by the way, uh, since you guys can't move your tokens, uh, you can tell me where you'd like to move. I'll move them and you can tell me based on uh, looking at Twitter, at the stream um, if you're in the right spot or not. Um, but on the other side of the counter, Albie and Albert, you see um, a small, I say small, but he's a, he's a pretty thickly built uh, Duergar. He's barrel chested, very stout. And um, you see one hand missing. Um, where his hand would be, you see <clears throat> a, a double headed hammer or kind of. One side of it has a wide, flat mallet head. The other side has a little, tiny, precise jeweler's hammer. Um, <clears throat> when you first walk in, he's sitting on a stool over here. And uh, he kind of perks up, looking like he's he's half asleep. And... Just, whoa, whoa. It's, uh, it's been a little bit since, since I had someone in. Uh, welcome to Hafford's. It's, I'm Hafford. Um, what time is it? Uh, time? Oh, uh, what, what time? Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, what time of day? I, I think I nodded off for a bit. Do, do uh, we know what time of day it is? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. you guys know it's midday. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's, it's daytime, yes. <laughs> uh, uh. And I'm just going to be ticking my head uh, around like a bird does, just looking around at everything in here. I think I'm a little overwhelmed by all the things that are in the shop. Yeah, there there is a lot of stuff in here, especially <clears throat> uh, things that uh, that catch Albert's eyes. This is Albert over here. I have to tell myself that as much as you or as much as the stream, rather. Um, you see. Uh, when you first walk in, it's kind of um, a little outdoorsy, like you see lanterns, ropes, uh, like an old rusted scythe. Um, you see some some knickknacks and things for like patching up clothing or uh, maybe like old tarps or, or leathers. Um, you see at the side counter, there's another little stool and it looks like there's like a weekly chess game set up there that maybe covered in dust, like it hasn't been played in quite some time. Um, <clears throat> he has a, a pretty random assortment of things. Uh, but on the, the far wall, um, up this way, yeah, you can see the mouse. Um, up on the far wall from where you walked in here, uh, you can see a collection of uh, bow and arrows, uh, shield. Um, green, welcome in. Glad you could make it for a bit. We, uh, we had some difficulties, but we're using Dungeon Alchemist to overcome. <laughs> um, if you want to travel around... Um, move you on over here where you're going to blend in with the rug terribly. <laughs> All right. Um, you see some traps, uh, like some live traps, some like leg traps. Um, you see ropes, you see lanterns, a little collection of thing. Uh, make a perception check for me real quick, if you would. All right. Oh, a natural one. A nat one. All right. Yeah, I think I'm overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many things in here. You, you're, you are a bit overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> the amount of things, the variety of things, like you're, you, you'd be, um, knowing your background, you are used to seeing a bunch of uh, different things. Like you like scavenging and looking around in, in different piles and, uh, things of that nature. Um, you're a picker, essentially, is how you described it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you're a picker that, that has an eye for shinies, essentially. Um, just the sheer overwhelming uh, amount of different things in here, you, you can't really focus on one. There's a lot of things that you would consider shinies, but you're kind of pulled all over the place right now. Um, ooh, ooh, so much stuff. Yeah, I, I've accumulated some things in my time. Um, uh, are you looking for anything uh, specific? Oh, yes, yes, my, my mother. Have you seen her? <laughs> uh, uh, that's one thing I don't have. I, I, I don't have anyone's mother here. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> oh, this, is my, this is my brother here. Yes, he, yes this is Albie. Yes, he, he's my brother. I just met him. <laughs> Alfie so, starts peeking over the edge like a toddler of Aww. the he kind of leans out around the side uh, it, he says you, you lost your mother sounds like you lost your brother you just found him so, uh, forgive me I, I've just woken up but I, I am glad you found your brother that's uh, always good to find your missing family Yes, me too. Oh, he, he's great. I have another brother too. Would you like to meet him? Uh, sure. Um, especially if you're buying something, kind of gives you the, the little elbow your direction. Oh, do you have anything small? Small and shiny. Oh, we've got plenty of small shinies. In fact, uh, just behind your, your brother there on the table, there there's a a bowl of buttons, if that might uh, catch your eye. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to look at the buttons. <laughs> Take the whole rug. <laughs> 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 Just improv, improv at its finest here. We're working with what we've got. Um, I'll just start pecking through them with my beak. <laughs> trying to find like 
the coolest looking one. Well, that's uh, that's certainly a a way to 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 go through them. Uh, <laughs> never really seen someone do that before, but you know what? You do you. You you can go ahead and and look through there to your heart's delight. So while you're uh, looking at that, um, he peers back around the corner and he looks at Albie and he says, uh, and, "And what about you? Um, can I help you find anything uh, in particular?" Well, if you have anything like a dice set and maybe a puzzle or two, some of the sort. Um, a dice set? Yeah. Yeah, I think I have an old set of dice. Uh, a puzzle? I, I don't think I, I have a puzzle. Uh, hang on, let me let me look over here. And he goes, he pulls open the drawer on this uh, chess game that he's got over here. Um, he fishes around for a minute and he, he yeah, he hands you a, a handful of dice. As he's got his back turned, can I just pocket one of the buttons? Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a uh, a sleight of hand check i think this it's is our, yeah i think our entire group is like thieves <laughs> yep uh dungeon alchemist welcome in uh we we had forge and foundry crash on us so we're improving by playing directly in dungeon alchemist which was not planned <laughs> We had an animated map going uh, top down, looked really nice, and it crashed on us mid RP. So it might be back. Is it back? Mine's working. Okay, we'll check it out in a minute. We'll finish what we're doing here. I know this is kind of nice this way. I like it. <laughs> yeah. This way is like you can see much more detail. <laughs> oh, well, by far. Yeah, this is kind of cool like this. Mm. All right, so go ahead and, and make your sleight of hand check. And I'm oh, rolling yeah, I, his I perception. Got 20, I got a 23. Beat that. A 23? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a natural one. Uh, so how, how many uh, were you pocketing? Uh, just one. Just the only one that in there that I found like the coolest looking. Okay. Yeah, you find yourself a, a nice, uh, bright, shiny copper button that you can take. Excellent. Uh, Albie, he turns around and uh, walks up none the wiser to what uh, you know, he's going to spin around as he moves. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I won't move him. <laughs> uh, he's he's going to flip out there. Uh, he comes up and he puts the uh, uh, crap. <laughs> I, was, I, I looked at chat for a half second and got thrown off. Uh, he puts the, the dice set down for you. Uh, it's just, just Old, I, I, I honestly haven't used these in, in in quite a while. You can, you can have them for just a couple of coppers. That's fine. Oh. Uh. Also, Andy, I didn't know if we had starting gold or not, so I didn't put any in mine. Uh, so no. You would, I think, you would have had some from either your uh, starting equipment or from your background. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put in background. Oops. Uh, here, give me a second. I'm listening to us in his left ear and rebels in his right. <laughs> awesome. All right, it uh, says for rogue 4d4 times 10, or does that sound like too much? Um, no, it should have said down at the bottom of starting. It's all right. Um, just say you have 10 gold for now. I didn't want to load you guys out with, with too much stuff. But cool. Thank you, Mac, for stopping in. We appreciate it. In the meantime, I can see if uh, Foundry will load back up for us. And this would be three copper, maybe? Uh, two. Two copper. Yep. All righty. I place the two copper on the counter. Okay. And he, I, I take the dice. Yep. He slides them on yep. over for you so you can reach them. Hey, Foundry's working again. Oh. All right. Um, so I'll change it in just a second. But um, he he slides over the, the dice and uh, so you take it. Um, 
he looks back over at you, at you Albert. He says, were you able to, uh, to find anything? Oh, yes, yes, there's many nice buttons in here. Oh, yes. Uh, I like this one over here. Oh, this, this. Go ahead, sir. Oh, and I'm going to pull another button out. Okay. Not the one you stole? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, honestly, uh, those weren't even my, uh, those, those weren't even my inventory. Those are just uh, things I found around and, um, you, you know, just, if you like them, you can go ahead and have the buttons, but I, I'm going to need the bowl back, okay? Just don't, just don't take the bowl. You can have the buttons. Any, any of them that you'd like, you can have them. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll uh, take the bowl and I'll dump them into my fanny pack. <laughs> you, of course you have a fanny pack. Yes, yes. Right. Of course it doesn't have a zipper, but you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So he goes ahead and, and lets you have that. Uh, he says, sir, um, yeah, stole a free item. Is there uh, anything else you guys are looking for? Are you free to, to look around and, 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 you know, see if there's anything else that might catch your eye? Mm. Do you have any uh, lock boxes that weren't able to be opened at all? Um, you know, this is... Uh, I do. Uh, I, I do have a lockbox, just uh, not not one for sale. It's it's my own uh, personal box. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll fly up onto the counter. <laughs> if that's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, he um. There we go. Well, I'll just perch up there. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, I, I, I am glad to, uh, to have, you know, customers and all that and, uh, new ones, especially because new ones come back at least a few times before they don't come back anymore. But, um, uh, why are you on the counter? I, I prefer it if you, you know, got off. I, I don't want you kicking over my things. Oh, yes. Very good. Yes. I'm just going to start pecking through like the bag neck on the table and uh, lock it, whatever that is. Okay. Said, oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't peck that. Oh, please. what's in here? Don't. Yes. Oh, this looks nice. What's in here? What is this? Mind the locket. Uh, the bag. Oh, is, I is, love lockets. <laughs> as Look, you begin uh, <laughs> pecking around, um, you realize pretty quick that the bag is, uh, is, um, a gold uh, purse that it's maybe like an eighth of the way full of gold. There's not much in it. Um, the locket, when he sees you start messing with the locket, it's actually a, a compass. It looks like a locket, but it's a, a fancy looking compass. He runs over and snatches it. Um, says, I'm trying to fix that, please. Oh, did you get that from your mother too? What? Uh, no. Uh, I got it in a sale, and I'm, I'm trying to fix it up. And oh, he, I got mine from my mother. See, here it is. I show him my locket. Oh, that's that's a very nice piece. Uh, what's yes, it look my, like? Oh, uh, my brother has one, and my other brother has one. That's why we're brothers. Yes. Interesting. It's a, it's nice to have a keepsake, uh, like a, a family um, memento. That's that's wonderful. Um, he says, this one, this one was part of a sale and I'm, 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 I'm it needs to be fixed up. And he says, it takes some, some delicate handling and he holds up his little hammer hand that he's got. Remember, one hand is missing and he has a double sided hammer hand um, and he, he flips it around. There's some kind of uh, mechanics to it, something mechanical where he, he shakes his hand and twists it just a little bit and the head flips around so that the little delicate jeweler's hammer is like facing down now. Um, he says, it's, it's taken me some time, but um, I'm, I'm satisfied. It, it's near ready. It's near ready. Uh, it should be. In fact, it is working again. It, it just needs to be put back together. It's a, it's a pretty delicate piece. Oh, how, how much? What, what do you want for it? Oh, um... 
Oh, I wasn't expecting to sell it already. It's it's not quite done. Um, but oh, uh, one gold, one gold. Yes, oh, I'll give you one gold. Uh, roll persuasion. Ooh. Hmm. I got a twelve. Twelve. Uh, no. If you can do three gold, uh, I will let you have. It. Okay, okay, three gold, three gold, and I'll hand him a uh, uh, a gold and two buttons. <laughs> Are you trying to hide it, or you're legitimately trying to pay with buttons? I'll just. Pay. I just was so frantic about it, I didn't realize that I was grabbing buttons. Oh, he picks the buttons out and hands like these. These are buttons. I need two more gold pieces, please. Oh, yes. I don't I don't want to give you buttons. Yeah, I take the buttons back and I'll give him two gold. OK, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, he hands you the compass. Uh, whoop, that's that's him. I need the compass. There we go. This is this is fun trying to do this in here. Now you are a bird with a compass. Yay, is it broken? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, if you're looking at it, it, he said it works. It's just not completely put back together in you know, like the nicest fashion. Um, like the, the back of it's kind of it's on there, but it's kind of janky, like it, it's missing something. Um, and it is a nice, a nice little compass. Oh, I absolutely. Albert absolutely loves this. He's like super infatuated with it. He's going to tie a rope around it and hang it from his neck like a necklace okay um he says you you take good care of that maybe uh you maybe even you know try to get it fixed up i, I think it would, it would do you well um oh, yes. he he pops um back around and uh kind of looks around and he says is, 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 your, is your brother okay um and i'll be what are you doing right now while they're uh well <laughs> your brother's on the counter digging through things that aren't his and packing everything. Uh, well, I think while Al or while Alfred's, uh, no, well, uh, Albert is sorry. <laughs> yes. Getting it's a getting you guys too. When Albert's on the countertop, I'll just kind of check out where I see the arrows and everything. I just kind of, uh, I'll just kind of sift around and see if there's, uh, any like, daggers in the mix or uh, anything of the sort uh, mixed with the arrows and such um looking for daggers uh there's probably instead of like a, a dagger like something to fight with there's like hunting knives and things like that um maybe a fillet knife um <clears throat> you get the idea as you're looking around i'll be that uh his general store is more of like an outdoorsman's type store with just the bare minimum of like everyday odds and ends in there. Uh, well. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're right. <clears throat> I'll just kind of go back to standing behind uh, Albert. Just kind of, just kind of thinking to myself, I get time. You got to find the right target. <laughs> then that's when you strike. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, what else were you looking for? Just the a dagger and uh, I think you said a sword. Uh, if, if there's a short sword, I'll I'll take it. Okay. Or if, if there's a short sword, I'll I'll buy it. But there's not a short sword in here. There's really just the the hunting knife and the dagger. Um, but yeah, you, there are the the bow and arrows. I don't know if those interest LV at all. Those are they look like they're they'd be fine for uh, for hunting. They actually look like. Of all the things in the shop, like his traps and the, the few weapons that he has are in great condition. 
I'll actually, uh, I'll, I'll probably ask. How much for the traps? Oh, those those traps. Um, if you're looking at the leg traps, um, those those I think would would be mm, probably about uh, five five gold pieces each. I'll grab one and I'll just kind of like waddle it up to the to the counter and I'll drop five on the countertop. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got a leg trap. I got. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Is trying to select this token. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'll be with a trap that's close to the size of him. <clears throat> uh, walks up. Oh, neat! The compass went with you. Oh, nice. And whoop. there we go. Plops the trap down on the counter. Uh, and you're paying for it. Yes. All right. You you hand over your five gold, which is half of what you just found out you had. And uh, he reaches out, takes it. Just, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this, is, this is very much appreciated. Uh, I, uh, you're a fellow outdoorsman like myself. Yeah, outdoorsman. Right. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh boy, oh, it's a pl- it's a fat plus two. So let's see how this goes. Five, five. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me give five gold. Oh, he's gonna beat it. He <laughs> has the power. Uh that's a that's a two. Oh, oh, sweet. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> sweet. Good old two. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's two. amazing. It's fantastic. It's fantastic rolls on my end to start with. I love it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm definitely an outdoorsy pot. Outdoorsy type. Oh, it's it's, it's good to see uh, another another outdoorsman around here. There's just not enough of them anymore. They just all seem to be going away these days. Yeah, I guess you could say it's like a cutthroat business of sorts. <laughs> I he, sure he seems genuinely confused by that. Uh, I, I'm I'm hoping uh, they aren't out there killing each other, and they're you know. Getting their game and, and getting food and things instead. Please, please, Mr. Owl, don't 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 kill anybody. Please. Don't worry. After the after I give him the five, I'll just kind of throw the trap over my back and just kind of start going towards the road door and say, thank you for your business. That that's that's my line. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you for the trap. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, come back again. And I, I, I hope the uh, the compass and the trap do you well. Yes, good day. Good day. Yes, yes. Albie says around. to himself. Albie says to himself, I can't wait to use this on a prick that calls me an ankle biter. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So are, are you guys both heading out? Uh, I want to, yeah, real quick. Is there any oil that he has for sale? I would just like to buy it real quick if he does. Like some lantern oil? Yeah, yeah. Anything that lights fire, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, one second. Uh, he digs around in the little chest that's back behind the uh, the counter there. Uh, back here. Um, he finds it in... Is there anything else for me to grab while he ducks down? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's uh, No, you're fine. There, There is gold on the counter. There's the chess pieces. Um, there's an actual locket on the table over here, if you can see on stream. What would he not see in view? He's, his back is turned to you. Like, he's digging around through this, this chest that's over here under the boar's head. I'll take the other locket. All right. So, uh, go ahead and make a stealth check, or uh, a sleight of hand check again. Go, go, go! Oh, a ten. Damn. Uh-uh. Triassle. 
a 10 with with his back turn, I'll say you pocket the locket. Yeah, pocket the locket. Yep. Um, he comes back out and he says, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, just a little flask of oil for you. Uh, it's just a just a, a single silver is fine. OK, thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Here you go. All right. So he okay, uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just rocketing out the door. Yeah, I just fly out the door. OK, so go ahead and uh, subtract the, the gold and everything. Uh, you can make sure you add in beyond that you have the compass and um, the locket, I guess you can add. I don't know what it'll do for you, but I'm sure you'll think of something with it later. Uh, I'll be you have one leg trap or ankle trap. It's not going to go with you for some reason, but you have a trap. You're apparently flying in the air. And okay. I don't have any silver, so I just gave him a gold. Eh, he'll give you back. He'll give you nine silver back. OK. All right, so um, you see, as, as you both walk out, you see Freddy walk around the corner. Um, you guys outside here, you can see um, pretty much surrounded by nature. There's the, the river. Um, you see an, like a merchant's cart or something nearby. <laughs> we got chat wanting pretzels. Um, and yeah, Freddy comes around the corner. Guys, guys, Mrs. B's bakery had bear claws. Oh, I have oh. not tasted a bear claw before. Oh, oh, uh, you have to have one. It's delicious. Oh, uh, here you go, Albie. Um, here you go, Albert. Oh, oh, yeah. Albert's had bear traps. <laughs> Where did you get a bear trap? <laughs> From Alfred's bear trap. Where are the claws? I do not see any claws in this. No, oh, no, it's it's a donut. It's a pastry. Do uh, not want these, the, these are bear claws. They're called that because. Oh, uh, I don't actually know why they're called that, but they're called that. <laughs> <laughs> Albie looks at the correlation at the bear trap being like, Are these magical? So where they snap off your feet, they turn into pastries? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure these were made in an oven. Mm, looks quite tasty. Uh -huh. I'll just uh, take the whole thing and, and just swallow it. Okay. Oh. So, Freddy, about the time he... You see Albert tilt this head back and swallow this whole um, this this whole pastry. Um, you see the there's a bright, shiny new compass on Albert's scarf. And he's got dangling around uh, uh, bleh, dangling among all the other knickknacks is what I was trying to get out there. Um, and you see this thing ever so slightly start to lift up and it seems to be pulling somewhere. Oh, Albert, are you doing that? Oh, oh, oh. Mm, this is so good. <laughs> Look, oh, oh, God, you got, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I'll press and digitate all the crumbs off his face. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll point to his compass and. Uh, but, Albert, are you doing that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that, what, what, what is that? I, I don't know. Where is it going? It is. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, is it still around my neck? Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's still on you. It's just, it, you attached it. So it's it's kind of pulling um, oh, okay. just ever so slightly, like enough to notice, but not enough to have any kind of like dragging power. Oh, I, I think it wants us to follow it. Yes. Yes. Oh. That sounds like so much fun. Okay, you first, then. I'll be right behind you. And... Albie? Do, do you guys see that juicy mouse over there? <laughs> <laughs> Al 
Ali, I have bear claws. I know, but it's a mess. You had three this morning, okay? I... At least let me round it up to four. Oh. No, I... oh, okay, fine. I attacked the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Roll a d20, uh, a dex check, and it... yeah, you're going to succeed on catching this mouse on anything other than a one. Roll a d20, a dex check? Yep. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Oh, you, <laughs> catch <two mouse. laughs> you catch the mouse. You sure do. <laughs> and I scarf that bastard down. Much like Albert uh, inhaled the, the pastry, you just catch it and gulp all in one like swift motion. Uh, there's just hardly any time for the mouse to react. It's just gone. <laughs> You know, one of these times, we're going to have to cook one of those for you. <laughs> Ew! Don't bet, don't don't bet your life on it. <laughs> it, it. It's so much better, though. It, anyway, compass. we got to figure out where yeah. the compass is going, right? Yeah. So, the compass is, is kind of pulling you this way. Um, are you, you can follow it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, oh, yes. What would you be doing? Yeah, I would just uh, have it dangling in front of me and I'll just follow it. Okay. Have it lead the way, <clears throat> stick my chest out and follow it. Uh, the compass pulls you... Whoa, there, there he goes. Bloop. And there he goes again. Bloop. There. Uh, he's getting lost in the terrain because it's just a flat plane. It's not an actual token. Um, <clears throat> so it pulls you over to this cart. You can see... Um, Oh. You see what looks like a packed up merchant's cart. Um, and on the outside here, uh, you see it's, it's not on this exactly, but you would see a little slot um, in the side of the the little cart. And the compass pulls you over to it and kind of drags you through the, the bush here. And you can hear some kind of whirring noise inside. Oh, I think I hear something from inside. Uh, Freddy? Slot? Freddy, Albie, are you guys following him or are you just hanging out? I'll follow. Okay. Mouse tail's hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I'll be going, of course. Okay. Out of the slot in this little wagon um, pops out Oh, you know what? We're going to play this. This doesn't actually happen, but we're going to play this because this is super cool. It just got added. Um, uh, pops out a little envelope. Fancy oh, uh, looking little envelope with a little sweet. red wax seal on it. Ooh. So fancy. Ooh, that's wow. super cool. Very fancy. That's pretty. I guess I'll reach out and grab the envelope. Okay. So uh, who who is it for? It it oh. says um it's only addressed to uh the brothers three. Brothers three, it says brothers three. We are brothers, yes. Oh god. It's gonna take us forever to find three brothers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we open it? Oh, who wants to open it? Um, go for it. Yeah, I, I just I just it. tear into it with my beak. Okay, you just rip the end off. Um, and easy enough. Just pull the, the the end of it off, and you can see inside there's a single folded um piece of paper. Mm. I will unfold it. Okay. Um. Inside, you open the letter, you can read in very nice, uh, very nice handwriting. Um, you guys are all invited. Again, it references the Brothers Three. It, this letter mentions the, um, a little bit about feathers and beaks in the Three Brothers. Uh, it invites you to the home of Madrick Rosloff. Um, and just like the other letter, it describes that uh, he has a very important um, matter he needs some help with. And he feels that 
Um, you three would be able to help him on this or with this. Oh, an invitation is. Oh, gosh. So much the trouble. They need help. That would be. And with help comes rewards. Yes. I mean, well, <laughs> I, I suppose, yeah. Yes. <laughs> got a greedy we'll owl. I like it. Case. We'll take the owl. We'll take the case. Okay. So, having taken the envelope, reading the letter, <clears throat> the the locket, or the um, the compass rather, um, falls down back against your chest. I legitimately, as a DM, I, I thought Albie was going to go straight for it. Surprised me. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the. The compass falls back down, still attached to your scarf. Uh, it falls inert, doesn't seem to be pulling at all anymore. And um, yeah, you guys have this letter, this invitation of sorts to someone named Madrick Rosloff's house. Um, it's a little ways away, but you, you, all of you recognize the area where it's at. It is um, a, a little ways off uh, along the Sword Coast. Um, you don't know that there's anything like in particular there, but you do know that, um, you, you know, the general area. I guess we would start flying there since we all fly. Correct. That works. Yeah. That's That'd be easier. That one. Some, <laughs> some shit I have to keep in mind. <laughs> it keeps us safer off the path and. He's got a rich man's name. All right, so you guys are heading there? Yeah. All right, is there anything else you want to do before uh, we get moving? No. Nope, I'm good. All right. So the three brothers will head off to go visit uh, Madrick Rosloff's house. And we are largely out of time. So we had a little hiccup. We have... Um, let me double check. We have one... We have two. We have two more little scenarios to go through, which we will get to next week. Um, so, Chrissy, you and Moz get to live with the dread of having to go next week, along with uh, Sarah and I don't want to say it. I don't want to summon <laughs> it. Uh, Sarah and Moist Melt. Yeah, the um, that we didn't get to all of them. I so wanted to see them. I know. I know. It's, I wasn't expecting that to have these kinds of problems, but I'm all right. Things, things went uh, pretty well. We had a little bit of hiccups, but not quite what I was expecting. Foundry was a butt. Yep. It's been a butt yeah. for everything to do with this campaign so far. But um, I'll try to get the, I guess some other things I can um, go ahead and take care of and try to get figured out. Um, like this stupid, dice rolling thing being broken. You guys shouldn't see those. Um, I'll talk to Jim. Uh, he was trying to help me out. Um, we'll get that fixed up. Um, Beanie. <laughs> Xanthos just came Oh, no, Xanthos. We're, Xanthos. we're just wrapping up Xanthos. Thank you for coming in, though. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you. Um, Thanks for dropping in, man. Beanie, you. being your, your first uh, session with us, um, how'd you do? How are you feeling? Um, feel feel good for the most part. I think I always uh forget I can do like checks and things during RP. <laughs> I just it's something I just I think I gotta get used to. Um, yeah. like with the with the cheating thing, like I didn't even that didn't even cross my mind that I could had that option or anything like that. Um, yeah. That was twisted throwing out a pro DM move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you kind of happy with my stats. Yeah, your stats are ridiculous. <laughs> Those are insane. And um, yeah, like like Chrissy just said, um, being able to, to be around everybody and um, like see what everybody else is doing, like their, their stealth checks for trying to steal things in the shop and things like that, um, you'll pick up on it. Like, yeah, it's literally like you can tell me whatever you want to do at any given time and I'll just tell you what you need to roll to to do or succeed on the whatever you're trying to accomplish. 
Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I um, I think that's it. Sarah uh, or uh, Lewis and and um, Chrissy and Melissa. I'm sorry we didn't get to you guys tonight, but we'll have fun with oh, you guys good. next time, and we can get. Well, I imagine we'll get through uh, your guys's scenarios, and um, we'll, we'll kick off the start of the adventure. Yay. Um, chat and hopefully have yeah. things fixed a little bit because we'll have to adjust the overlays or something a little bit there too. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll have things figured out. Xanthos, Thank Xanthos, you. thank you for the what gift. What are you size. doing? Very much appreciated, man. Thank you oh so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Um, chat, awesome, thank man. you for uh, sticking with and uh, dealing with the technical hiccups. It kind of worked out, though. Uh, the cool thing about uh, Dungeon Alchemist was being able to jump into it and improv the crap out of things. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking it out with us and dealing with the, the technical hiccups. Not bad for a first D&D uh, stream. I can't complain at all. So um, very much appreciate you guys. And thank you for the players for uh sticking around while we figure things out on fly too and uh, thank you Andy. yeah, yeah thanks for Andy. putting this all together thank you thank yeah. fun. um all you guys with the the gift subs and xanthos i know um let me, let me go find them we got a, a list of things to go through because everybody in chat was super generous today xanthos yeah, crispy uh dan's days um thank you guys so much goblin tuesday with 10 gift subs Holy crap. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for the love. We had a bunch of bit love, uh, man bullet and Jay Z giving everybody rerolls for their stats. Uh, super appreciate that. James, I'm going to yell at you for, for giving all this, <laughs> the bits. Appreciate it. You gotta stop that. Um, Lewis with the, the tip in there. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's James and Jay Z with the, uh, <laughs> the moist milk for life. Moist milk for life. <laughs> That's what his cheer no. said. <laughs> uh, and thank you guys. Thank you for all the new follows. General. Yes, all the new follows. Moist. <laughs> all the wonderful things with from the wonderful people. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Um, we are gonna go find our buddy. I think Rebel streaming. We're gonna go repay some of the love for him hanging out with us uh, earlier. Uh, make sure he's on. He's yeah, also he Rebel. Yeah, he, he is also running D and D. He is inside Tailspire. It's fully three D. It's actually meant to be a, uh, a VTT. Um, so you guys can can check that out. <laughs> Skilling with the moist milk bits. Oh, uh, no moist bits. Moist, moist bits. Oh, I mean, no we should moist. change it. Change to moist. Bits. No, <laughs> no moist bits. All in it now. This is going to be a fan favorite. <laughs> I, I, I don't want this. I don't like this. But you allowed it. I allowed it. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be a nice DM. But yeah, guys, without without any any more here, um, thank you to everybody. This was awesome. I appreciate all the support and everything. We'll get the tech issues hopefully figured out, and we should have yeah, fiber soon. Stuff to figure out. Yeah. Fiber soon, so that might solve some things for us. But uh, let's get the. Uh, the rebel raid going make sure you say hi drop a follow for him if you have not already um they get a fun group of people and seeing what he's made inside of tailspire is amazing <laughs> no, no, no. no don't contribute no. to this uh, <laughs> chat you guys have a good night uh players thank you again you guys have a good night and we'll see you next week uh wednesday night for more witch light you guys have a good night and adios Bye. 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 Good night and farewell. Bye. Oh.